Today, people use the internet for just about everything, from social media to banking and even dating. But what about using the internet for making your home more energy efficient? Well, now you can. The great benefits of having a CPS Energy Savers smart thermostat is its online capabilities, which allow you to access, change, and set temperature settings all from the computer. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you the basic steps for accessing and programming your smart thermostat online. Before we begin, it's important to point out that in order to access your smart thermostat account online, your computer's internet browser must have the latest Internet Explorer, either 8 or higher, or you can use Firefox 3.5 or higher, and for Apple products, Safari will do. To find out which internet browser you have, click on the Help tab from the web browser and select About Internet Explorer. If you don't have 8 or higher, you can download the current version from the internet. If you're still not sure what to do, contact your computer's technical support team. So let's get started. To go to the site, go to www.wisewatts.com. Now you'll need a username and a password to access the program. This will be provided to you from the Honeywell representative at the time of installation. Your provided username will contain the letters CPS, all in caps, followed by your CPS Energy account number. Now make sure that there are no spaces. Your provided password will be your serial number of your smart thermostat. Once you've entered your username and password, click Submit. This will take you to the Smart Thermostat Program Center's homepage. To adjust your thermostat settings, look to the left side of your screen and you'll see the words thermostat. Click on the drop down arrow. You can choose schedules, manual, or history. You can have multiple thermostats and adjust them separately by following the same steps. Let's begin by clicking schedules. You can see at the top of the screen your thermostat schedule and its serial number. Let's begin by clicking create. Now here you can select which days of the week you want specific control of your thermostat. For this particular demo, I'm going to choose the same schedule for every day of the week. Now here's a nice feature. The smart thermostat allows you to create multiple schedules and you can give each schedule a name and I'll show you how to do that. To add a name, simply click inside the box to add your cursor. Now I'm going to rename mine normal schedule. Now I can make changes to the times and temperature. Now there are two ways that you can do this. You can manually enter them using your cursor or you can use the convenient slide bar that's provided. For this particular demo, I'm going to use the slide bar. Simply click in the time frame and here we're working under the wake set point. For the wake set point, I'm going to set my wake time for 5 o'clock. Then you tab over to the heat temperature. For the heat temperature, let's set it for 68 degrees. And then for my cooling, I'm going to put that to 78. Now once again, if you're not at home, for the leave set point, it's a good idea to turn your thermostat up 3 to 5 degrees or down 3 to 5 degrees. For my leave set point, I'm going to change it to 8 a.m. Then I'm going to change the heat to 65, because I want to save money. And let's move our cooling temperature up to 83 degrees. Then tab over to our return set point. Return from work at about 5.30. Now I want my heat temperature to go back up to 68 degrees so that I'm comfortable when I get home. And let's put the cooling back up to 78 degrees. Tab one more time for our sleep set point. Let's put the time frame for 10 p.m. Then let's click over to the heat and put that down to, let's say, 65 degrees, considering you might be under blankets. Then for the cooling, we'll put that to 78 degrees. Now once you've made your changes, simply click Save just like that. Now you can create as many schedules as you like. Once they are saved, they will be compiled under the other schedules. At any time you want to use your saved schedules, simply select Send Now. Now your selected schedule has moved up to the top to be used. You can also make temporary changes to your thermostat from the program center. To do that, click Manual. Here's another cool feature. If you have more than one thermostat in your home, you can name each one of them to help you better identify and manage them online. To do that, click the Edit button. 
you can now enter the name for your smart thermostat. Since this thermostat is upstairs, I'm going to name it Upstairs. Then click Save. Now we want to temporarily change the temperature. So I can use my up or down arrows here. Let's go to 65 degrees. Now if I want to override my current settings, I simply press Hold. Then click Send. And then OK. Now to return to normal schedule settings, simply run program. And that's it. For more information on how to program your smart thermostat online, contact the CPS Energy Savers Smart Thermostat Hotline at 1-866-222-7645. I'm Albert Cantu. Thanks for watching.